Sunny new developments involving the suspected killer previously charged in three of the Gilgo Four murders. Rex Hewerman's now charged in all four of those cases. The district attorney and Hewerman's attorney speaking on the new allegations this morning. We charged the murder of Maureen Brainerd Barnes to add to the, uh, to the already charged murders of um, Melissa Bartholomew, uh, Megan Waterman and Amber Costello. Uh, this indictment marks a change in the investigation. The grand jury investigation of the so-called Gilgo Four is over. It has been concluded. Uh, and we will proceed with those cases uh, in court. We entered a not guilty plea this morning. He has maintained his innocence from day one. Uh, he entered a not guilty plea on the original indictment and he again entered a not guilty plea this morning. He's looking forward to fight these charges and, and we're doing that. Well, Hewerman appeared in court this morning as the latest indictment was read aloud. And as you heard his attorney say there, he once again pleaded not guilty. Correspondent Laura Engel is live for us in Riverhead, New York, with the latest on this case, Laura. Hey, Nicole, you know, this is the moment that the family members of Maureen Brainerd Barnes have been waiting for for all these years. You know, they have been here in court before to see Rex Hewerman, but this is the first time that they have heard her name tied to his name uh, in open court and with these charges. So a very significant moment uh, for this case and for these families today. Investigators believe that Maureen Brainerd Barnes was the first of the Gilgo Ford to be killed by the Long Island serial killer suspect back in 2007 after she vanished. A human was charged in July for the murders of three of the four victims, as you mentioned, Melissa Bartholomew, Megan Waterman, and Amber Costello. All three found bound with tapes, some in burlap. Maureen Brainerd Barnes was found bound with three leather belts and had been out in the elements along Ocean Parkway near Gilgo Beach the longest, which investigators have said made connecting some of the DNA found on one of the belt buckles a challenge until the recent advancements of DNA testing. Five hairs found on several victims now tied with nuclear DNA to the family. Hewerman's attorney Mike Brown pushing back on the allegations after court today. You folks have filed this case from the beginning and, and all along we have been told that the evidence uh, is unsuitable for nuclear DNA testing. This morning was the first time, and this is 13 plus years, that miraculously nuclear DNA testing and results have come forward. There has been testimony, there has been lab reports that consistently said it was incapable of having nuclear DNA testing. And we had mitochondrial DNA, and, and those statistics were, were quite frankly uh, not very convincing. All right, so the DA after this press conference said, look, there's been a lot of advancements with DNA technology. We've talked about that, and that is the very thing that this grand jury has been waiting for, for the further testing of the DNA. Uh, and that DNA that was found on the belt buckle, we should mention, also is the one that matched the wife of Rex Hewerman, Asa Ellerup. So the DA was very specific of those today saying, look, we are not charging her with anything. We don't believe she was connected. In fact, we now have records that were found in those storage units of Rex Hewerman's travel documents and bank records showing that she was, in fact, out of town with her children. So th there is no connection there, but it is now we're learning more information uh, through that bail document today that was released. And we also saw another disturbing list of web searches connected uh, to Hewerman's computers using fake emails involving porn, rape, torture, and sex workers, which were numbered in the thousands. And lastly, we want to mention that the victim's families uh, spoke out today. Um, we'll get their attorney, Gloria Allred, after today's press conferences. It was the last press conference we had. Um, Maureen Brainerd Barnes' sister, Melissa Kahn, shared a new photo of her sister when she had her young daughter, uh, who is now grown and was also at today's news conference, saying that her family has painstakingly endured uh, being judged and marginalized. Uh, Maureen, for being a sex worker, and said that she was much more than that, a loving mother, caring sister, and giving friend. Uh, the grand jury, uh, as mentioned there, has concluded the Gilgo Four investigation, but now we'll move on to those other victims that were found along Ocean Parkway. There are many more victims left to go. The next court appearance will be here February 6th. Nicole? All right, Laura, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.